Ever wondered what parvo and rabies are and how they affect your beloved dogs? Imagine them as the Darth Vader and Lord Voldemort of the canine world, lurking in the shadows, ready to strike when you least expect it. Parvo, the silent but deadly force, is a highly contagious virus that targets dogs, especially puppies. It wreaks havoc on their digestive system and can prove fatal if not detected early. On the other hand, rabies, the mad dog disease, is a viral disease causing inflammation in the brain. It's as temperamental and unpredictable as the Joker, and equally as dangerous. Now, these aren't your everyday villains. They're silent, invisible, and they don't negotiate. They pose a serious threat to your dogs, and ignorance could be the kryptonite that allows them to win. Stay tuned to find out who wins this villainous battle, but spoiler alert, it's not going to be a fun ride for our furry friends. First in the ring, we have Parvo, the silent but deadly killer. Now you might be wondering, what on earth is Parvo? Well, allow me to enlighten you. Parvo is a highly contagious virus that primarily affects our canine companions. It's a little like a sneaky ninja creeping up on its victims when they least expect it. Parvo targets the dog's gastrointestinal tract, but it doesn't stop there. Oh no, it's far too crafty for that. It also attacks the white blood cells, weakening the dog's immune system and leaving them susceptible to other infections. It's a bit like a double agent, compromising the defences from the inside. So, how can you tell if Parvo has snuck into your dog's system? Well, the symptoms can vary, but there are a few telltale signs to look out for. If your dog starts to lose their appetite, seems unusually lethargic, or has severe vomiting and bloody diarrhea, these could all be red flags that Parvo has infiltrated their body. The symptoms can come on quite suddenly, much like a ninja leaping out of the shadows. One minute your dog might be happily wagging their tail, and the next, they're struck down with illness. That's why it's so important to keep a close eye on your dog's behavior and health. Now you might be thinking, well, this Parvo sounds like a real menace. Why haven't I heard more about it? That's a good question. The thing about Parvo is that it's a silent killer. It doesn't make a lot of noise or cause a big fuss. It just quietly goes about its business, wreaking havoc in the shadows. But that doesn't make it any less dangerous. So, that's Parvo for you. A sneaky ninja waiting to pounce. But what about our second contender? Stay tuned to find out more about the equally deadly but far less stealthy rabies virus. Next, we introduce rabies popularly known as the Mad Dog Disease. A menacing character indeed, often likened to the villain of a classic monster movie. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Let's first understand what this disease truly is. Rabies, my dear listeners, is a viral disease that affects the nervous system of mammals. And yes, that includes our beloved canine companions. It's a sneaky virus, entering the body through a bite or scratch from an infected animal, then traveling along the nerves to the brain. It's a bit like a Trojan horse, really, but with fangs and a bad temper. Now, onto the symptoms. In the early stages, your dog may show signs of fever, unusual aggression, or a staggering gait, almost as if they've had one too many at the doggy pub. As the disease progresses, they might experience seizures, paralysis, and even hydrophobia, a fear of water that's so intense, they would rather face a cat than a puddle. Quite dramatic, isn't it? But what makes Rabies a real-life monster movie villain is its ferocity and its pension for theatrics. Once symptoms start showing, the end, unfortunately, is usually nigh. And it's a terrifying show with our furry friends transformed into unrecognizable characters. However, don't let this grim picture get you down. Just like in those monster movies, the heroes always find a way to fight back. There are vaccines available that can protect your dogs from this vicious virus. And remember, early detection is key, so keep a keen eye out for any unusual behavior in your pets. Rabies, the monster of the dog disease world. But wait, we're not done yet. Our story is far from over. After all, every great monster movie has a sequel and ours is no different. But how do these villains stack up against each other, you ask? Well, stay tuned, folks. The battle of Parvo versus Rabies is just getting started. It's time for the showdown. Who's the tougher opponent? Let's look at the fatality rates and treatments. When it comes to parvovirus, the fatality rate can be quite high, up to 80% in untreated cases. However, with prompt and aggressive treatment, survival rates can climb to about 90%. 
The treatment usually includes hospitalization, intravenous fluids, antibiotics and medications to control vomiting. Quite the ordeal, isn't it? Now, let's turn our attention to rabies. This one's a real doozy. If signs of the disease appear, it's almost always fatal. However, there's a silver lining. The disease is preventable through vaccination. Once the symptoms of rabies are visible, there's no treatment available. It's a stark reminder of the importance of prevention. So, if these diseases were in a boxing ring, Parvo would be the one that can knock you out cold, but gives you a fighting chance if you see it coming and act fast. Rabies, on the other hand, is the silent assassin. It sneaks up on you and once it strikes, there's no coming back. Imagine if diseases were contestants on a reality show vying for the title of worst disease. Parvo would probably be the one with the heartbreaking backstory, making everyone root for its defeat. Rabies, meanwhile, would be the villain of the season, always lurking, ready to strike when you least expect it. But let's not give these diseases more credit than they deserve. After all, they're not the stars of our show. Our dogs are. And as much as we'd like to vote these diseases off the island, we can't. What we can do, however, is arm our furry friends with the best defense. Knowledge, prevention, and timely treatment. Well, it seems like it's a tough competition for the Worst Disease Award, but can we, as pet owners, do anything about it? Now let's talk about the superhero in this story, prevention. If we were to imagine this battle against Parvo and Rabies as a comic book tale, prevention would surely be our caped crusader. It's not about how hard you can hit, but rather how well you can dodge, isn't it? So let's learn how to duck, weave, and sidestep these canine villains. Firstly, let's equip ourselves with our superhero's mighty shield, vaccination. Vaccines are like a superhero training program for your dog's immune system. They expose your dog's body to a safe version of the diseases, allowing it to learn how to fight them off. Regular vaccinations are crucial in preventing both parvo and rabies. Now, our superhero prevention doesn't just rely on his shield, he's got a utility belt full of handy tools too. One of the most important tools in this belt is hygiene. Cleanliness is key in battling parvo, as the virus can survive on surfaces for months, even years. So remember to keep your dog's environment clean. Regularly wash their bedding, toys and feeding bowls with a bleach-based solution to destroy the virus. Of course, every superhero needs a sidekick. In this case, the sidekick's name is Awareness. Being aware of the risks and symptoms of parvo and rabies can be a game changer. Regular vet checkups, avoiding contact with unknown animals and not allowing your dog to roam freely in areas known to have these diseases are some of the ways you can practice awareness. And finally, our superhero prevention believes in the power of teamwork. Community-wide vaccination and hygiene practices can help to keep these diseases at bay. It's not just about protecting your dog, it's about protecting all dogs. After all, every superhero story teaches us that together we are stronger. So prevention saves the day, but are we humans safe from these villains? Wondering if you need to start wearing a superhero cape too? Let's talk about human risk and global impact. Rabies, as many of you may know, is zoonotic meaning it can be transmitted from animals to humans. It's a serious concern worldwide, with more than 50,000 human deaths annually. Parvo, on the other hand, does not affect humans and is primarily a canine concern. As for the global distribution, both diseases are widespread, but you won't find them everywhere. Rabies is absent in the United Kingdom and Australia, for instance, thanks to strict pet travel laws. Parvo, however, is pretty much everywhere dogs are. But remember, you don't need to don a cape or a mask to fight these diseases. All it takes is a bit of common sense, good hygiene, and keeping up with your dog's vaccinations. And that, folks, concludes our battle of the dog diseases. Phew, what a battle that was. We've journeyed through parvo, rabies, their effects, and how to keep our furry friends safe. Don't forget to subscribe to all four doggos, hit that bell icon, and share this with all the dog lovers you know. Also, drop a comment below about your thoughts on this battle. Remember, every like saves a puppy from parvo and rabies. Until next time, stay positive.